What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to talk about the P365 and the different variations that are available to you. What's up everybody, like I said we're going to be talking about the SIG P365 and the different variations that you have available for this particular handgun. Uh, real quick we'll go ahead and start. We'll go ahead and lock it to the rear. You can see nothing in the chamber. The gun is clear. We want to make sure we are safe. So, SIG released this 2019. Crap, I can't remember. You can say whatever you want. I think it was 2019. I think the Hellcat was toward the end of 2020, but when they released this gun, it was flying off the shelves because you had such a small gun with such a heavy round count. Now this is the original P365. Your different variations out there are your 365X, your 365 Macro, and the 365XL. And then there's some variations within those as well too. So there has been a lot created with SIG and the 365 from this gun and I'm sure probably based off the feedback that they've gotten from the consumers. Uh, but I wanted to do, just kind of touch real quick on this because I know when I have this gun out in my intro class it seems to be pretty popular uh, just because of size and capacity. Uh, especially for my ladies out there, this seems to be really popular with the ladies with my intro classes and stuff just because it fits their hands really well. So just something to think about when you're looking at. Now this particular one does have a thumb safety. It is ambidextrous, so it does have a thumb safety. You can get them with and without the thumb safety. Uh, this particular one just had the thumb safety and it had a really good price on it, so couldn't turn it down. Now with this, the 365, all right, you've got a 3.1 inch barrel. Uh, it does come with a 10 round steel mag. Uh, this particular one actually came with an extra mag. And as you can see here, this does have a mag extension. Uh, this was a particular package that we got, two mags, and then you've got your extension. So here's to extend it to 12 rounds. Here's to extend it to 15 rounds. So if you want to see what the 15 round looks like, there you go. I'll go ahead and grip it in my hand. And you see there's what your 15 round looks like. It does stick out uh, a lot more than what your 10 round and your 12 round does. Uh, but that was what came with this particular gun. They are 10 round mags, but you can get extensions to extend them out. Now overall length is about 5.8 inches. Overall weight on this particular gun is 17.8 ounces, so about 18 ounces. All right, it does come with SIG light night sights. You have your standard curved trigger and then you've got a modular polymer grip. So that's pretty much your P365. The others are going to bump up your round count. But round count, all right. From here, uh, you've got your P365X that actually comes with 12 round mags. They are still mags. Now, on that particular gun, overall length is about six inches, but your barrel length in the 365X is still 3.1. All right, and your overall weight in the 365X is about 18 ounces. Now the X does come with a flat trigger and it comes with X-ray day and night sights and it comes with your X series grip module. So that's where you get some differences from the 365 to the 365X. Now after that is your 365XL that also comes with 12 round steel mags. Overall length on that one because XL meaning extra large it is a little bit bigger than your 365 and your 365X. The XL overall length is 6.6 .6 inches. 
your barrel length now becomes 3.7 inches and your weight goes up a little bit to about 20 21 ounces somewhere in there now the 365 xl also comes with your x series flat trigger and your x series grip module now within the 365 xl you get an xl comp version and an xl specter version so there are some variations of your xl after your XL, you now have your 365X Macro. Now that overall length is about like your XL. It's 6.6 .6 inches on the overall length. Barrel length on your X Macro is 3.1 inches. Weight floats back up somewhere into that 20, 22 range, uh, 20 to 22 ounces range. And then it does have a flat trigger, comes with uh, the Macro Compact Grip, and then you've got the X-ray day and night sights. And then within your X-Macro, you've got a comp, a Spectre, and a Tac Ops version that you can get with that where just some small nuances of the handgun do happen to change a little bit. But those are your, your different variations of your 365 and what's available out there. Like I said, this is a very popular gun. Uh, you can sit here and say what you want to, that all oh, SIGs overpriced this and that. I'm not going to get in that. That's not what I'm doing this for. I'm doing this because somebody out there is probably looking for their first handgun. They might be looking for a handgun for a significant other. But even if you are getting a handgun or looking at this for someone, please take them to the shop. Let them put it in their hands. Make sure they're going to like it. If it's somewhere where you can go and rent it and shoot it, go and rent it and shoot it. Okay, I'm just giving you what all you have available to you within the P365 series. There's a lot of great options out there. For me, this gun just doesn't this doesn't fit my fit my hand like I would like it to. All right, my pinky hangs off even if we go with the 10 round mag. Okay, you've got your little pinky extension there, so you see that. I'm still, I, I still feel confined with the grip. Like if I really wanted to grip it, my pinky is still hanging off down here. If I really, to grip it the way that I would like to grip it. I can jam them up in here and get them in between that and the trigger guard, but it, it just, I'm, I'm confined. I don't, I don't have the room that I would like to have. Now we go over to the 15 round mag. All right, I can get the grip that I want, but depending on where you carry, how you carry, all right, this particular magazine extension, it, it, it sticks out a lot. So that I'm not a big fan of, but it does let you get 15 rounds in here. But now look, with the right holster, carry position, it's not gonna stick out that much. It's not gonna print or anything. But now if you start talking about pocketbooks, all right, that's a subject for a different day. We're gonna actually talk about that in the future. Um, or if you're talking about in your pocket, then the 15 round extension might not be a good option. The 12 round, all right, as you can see, if we were to just stand it here, I'm not gonna go through swapping all this out. Plus, I don't even think YouTube will let me that because I'm doing something with a gun. They'll probably pull it down or some crazy stuff. But you see, it doesn't, so you see, doesn't stick down that much like the 15 round. So, but this particular gun is what my wife carries. This is what she likes. She didn't like the feel of the Hellcat. Um, at the time we were looking, the MP Shield Plus wasn't available. Um, the Meta 9C that Canik has. So your other gun manufacturers are starting to come out with small handguns with heavy round count to compete with the 365. Um, I did a review comparing the Canic Elite SC to the Hellcat, uh, so please feel free to go and check that out. Uh, I'm going to do another video to expand on the Hellcat and all the different options that you have out there for it as well too, but this one I wanted to just focus on the 365 because, like I said, it, it, it's very popular in my intro and I'm starting to see more and more people coming in with the different variations. Now I will say I have had a chance to shoot a friend's 365 macro. I love the way that it feel, 
felt, I can't talk today. That seems to be a problem. All right, I love the way that it felt. It was, it just, to me, it felt more comfortable in my hands. It felt like it filled out my hands, if that makes any sense when it comes to, to gripping a gun. So that was the one that I liked out of all of them. Now the XL, I've had a chance to hold and shoot it. Feels good, shoots good, but to me the X Macro, it just, it, like I said, it, it filled out my hand. It, it gives me a good, comfortable grip. I didn't feel confined or crunched in when I was gripping that gun. So here's a great option for you if you're looking for your first handgun or you're looking to maybe expand your concealed carry options or maybe looking for something a little bit more compact for your concealed carry options the sig p365 is a great option and any other one variations <coughs> excuse me that i've talked about are excellent as well too so again that's the p365 the original your p365 x your p365 xl and then your p365 x macro Within the X Macro, you've got a Comp Series, a Spectre Series, and a Tac Op Series. And then within the XL, you've got a Comp and a Spectre in that as well, too. Again, that's just some of the nuances. Maybe the colors are a little different. You might get into some Coyote uh, or some Two-Tone, uh, depending on what you're looking at there. But seriously, this is, this is a great option, people. Uh, you can say what you want to about SIG. I'm not going to sit here and talk trash, that's not what I'm doing this video. Uh, I just wanted to do this so you understand what options are available out there within the P365. So I definitely hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, everything helps. Click that little bell icon so you get notified when we post uh, other videos because we've got some other great videos getting ready to come out. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.